Hello and welcome to the show. I am back here today on Wreckfest on PC. It's been a little while. Going to be taking a look at some mods. Now, some of you, quite a lot of you, will probably have heard of the very track pack. This is a mod that comes for, for Wreckfest that has a huge, huge, crazy, crazy number of circuits. It's wonderful. There's some wacky stuff. There's some really good, fun stuff in it. There is a new version, I say the new version, there's a very track pack 2 that has, I guess, started being made. There's only a couple of tracks uh, in that so far, uh, but I'm going to go and have a look at them. We're going to go give them a try. Oopsie. I uh, forgot how to go through the menus on this. <laughs> that does help. Go through the menus on this game. Right, so we have two tracks. We have Gar Demon, I think, and Lanark Bane. That's not how either of those are pronounced, but that's how I'm going to pronounce them. Uh, by the looks of it, that looks like half a motocross track in there. That sounds fun. Looks fun. Uh, so there's some a couple of different versions of each of them. I'll have a drive with some different stuff, and we'll, we'll see how things go. Uh, let's go and drive. You know, let's go drive a Speed Demon. Why not? We'll give it a go. We'll drive an A-Class car. Uh, five laps. I tend to stick on intense damage just for wacky, silly, fun times, really. We'll see what happens uh, with the old full-on intense damage. Something's going to probably fall off the car, or the car's going to get cut in half. Well, not quite cut in half, but, you know, <laughs> like big chunks get taken out of the car. And all of that sort of good stuff. I did just realise I didn't check what the AIs were driving. I hope it auto-defaulted and set them to A-class cars. Sometimes, for whatever reason, when you pick an A-class car, it sets it to C-class, like it defaults to. I'm not quite sure why. I probably should have looked. I forgot about the loading times on Wreckfest as well. Still going. Yep. <laughs> Okay, what have we got? Um, okay, everyone is at least in the right sort of... Gee, they've got some very modified. I don't remember them modifying cards that much. Okay, this might be tough. We shall see. We're starting roughly in the middle of the pack. Right, here we go. Let's see what the Speed Demon has got to offer. It's fairly decent off of the line. I mean, so far this track already looks like it could be a thing. Like this... <laughs> this track to me looks like it could be in the game normally. Uh, it, really <laughs> it really does. It's quite a lot of run-up area through that corner there. Oopsie. Excuse me. Excuse me, Dominator. I think that's what that car is called. Oh, just sit on the tarmac. I guess we'll get a little bit more. Theoretically, a little bit more speed, a little bit more grit on there. Oh, Dominator's going to fire up the inside. We're going to get nudged a little bit wide. I like the bridge. That's cool. Okay, this is actually a very, very short uh, lap around here. Fair enough. Uh, that's a fun little circuit. It's quite a short lap, I will say that much. Yeah. It, if you didn't tell me this was a mod circuit and it was just in the game, I would fully believe that that was a thing. It does very much look like it belongs here. It looks kind of like the... Oh, it's got bits that remind me of some of the, the different circuits. I just can't remember their names now. Um, like the banking. Is it like the Veil something circuit with all these sort of high banked corners and so on? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're fine. Ah, let's fight. Take a chunk out of my door, why don't you? Where are we? Fourth at the moment. Second is doable. The lead is quite a long way gone, actually. A big dive for third here at turn one. It's a little bit too much of a dive. Oh, we're on the dirt and there's no grip out there. Oh, have I gone too far? No? Okay, let me back on the circuit. Almost went too far away from the, I guess, invisible checkpoints that stop you from corner cutting. Oh, beamed up turn one. I really shouldn't have dived quite so much there. That is a lap down vehicle. How it's ended up a lap down, I don't know. And I've got too much oversteer. No, come on now. We can and must be better than this, surely. It has fallen apart a snitch on this uh, third lap. Okay, let's try and regroup. Let's have another go at turn one on a lap down car. We'll lean or we'll bounce off the door of the lap down car this time rather than ping along it. Yep, we're going to use you to help us turn. Oh, okay, no, it didn't really help. I shouldn't, shouldn't be trying that one. That's a huge curve on the inside. I feel like somebody can fall over that quite easily. Dominator that was looking around the outside, that did not uh, find a way past. And then get it slowed for this downhill section. I really like this final corner. This is, is it a really good little circuit, this. I'm not very quick at it. No. No! You little git. <laughs> There's a gear. Ah, oh, I'm going to be too far back for any sort of revenge, annoyingly. You little bugger. If I could find a way, I would torpedo you with the speed demon. However, alas, you are going to be too far away from me. We can barely even torpedo the bulldog if we wanted to, and I have no reason to torpedo that one, although that's had a spin on its own. We might be able to get past it here regardless. The AI they're not slow around here, although they are quite spread out, which is a little bit of a shame. Ah, oh, yes, lag has won the race. Oh, I tried to give it a bump and a little help, but it didn't do, didn't help me in the end of all of that. That's a really cool track. 
That is, yeah, credit where credit is due. That is a really fun little circuit. It's not crazy complicated. There's nothing too untoward about it. It's just a fun track to drive around, a couple of challenging corners, a good circuit for some racing, really. So, we are staying at the same location, only this time... I don't know what difference this is going to make. Uh, there were some bits that I looked at that I thought maybe like alternate routes to the track for, for this rallycross version, or whether it's just going to change some of the surfaces to gravel, maybe. I don't quite know what we're going to see in the, in all of this. Um, oh, okay. It looks, no, we have a different, got a different layout here. Ah, okay. So we go this way. <laughs> we go this way. Uh, helped quite a lot by everybody there. Ah. Get a ping open the door, don't do that. Christ. I need my door. Door is important and all that. And then alright, it's not quite as crazy. I, mean, I was expecting it to maybe force us to use like this chicane down here. I guess it's supposed to be like a pit lane. I know, I was, I was kind of expecting maybe it would go for go for that one. Yeah, it kind of forces you along that. Oh, sort of tighter tighter line. I think I prefer the normal layout, to be honest. This one here, it's not bad. Oh, Bulldog, come on now. Can we chase down the leader? of the race. I think sticking on the tarmac as best we can is a good idea, although I say that. Apparently I can't drive the cars on this game. Oh, there's some vehicles have got a little bit wide there. Yeah, that transition just bites. Uh, one of the AIs that did overtake me immediately found the tyre bundle. We have to hope that happens to the leader. Well, the car ahead has made a mistake and bobbled very, very wide through there. I haven't driven the Bulldog in ages. I, I figured this was a chance to use some, some of the cars I've not really played much with in a while on Wreckfest. Uh, I am using them stock on, on here, and the AIs are modifying their vehicles, so it's a challenge. It's fine, I'm up for a challenge, apparently, well, apparently not, because I spin like a moron. Okay, just don't get too carried away on the throttle. There we go. That's how you do it. A little bit of sliding from the car ahead. I don't really want to be sliding myself either, though. This sliding is slow, goddammit. At least, feels like it is to me. There's a way to kind of slide the cars a little bit and get speed. This is like some cars. I don't know, it's... Too long since I played Wreckfest consistently to remember all the ins and outs of how to drive quickly. Annoyingly, oh, the car ahead of me has made a very, uh, has made a wide line. Although I guess you get an okay exit from that wide line. It's tantalisingly close. It's like we're not really gaining time. We're not really losing time. We've all lose a little bit of time here because that's a terrible line into this corner. Uh, I'm just hoping that they might get ensnared in traffic, which they do not. That's very annoying. Gee, what the hell happened to the truck? Why is that? catapulted across, although there has been a big mistake for the car in second. I'm about to go follow it, though. Uh, so we made a bad start to that lap. They made a bad end to the lap. Oh! We are up into second now. I don't quite know what happened to the... Maybe they like, went too far wide somewhere and got into trouble. We were second and we're falling back to third again. There's some chaos has gone on on this lap, and I don't quite know what it is. I'm struggling to really make any sort of lap speed at the moment. I'm just slithering around like a fool. I'm going to guess somebody made a mistake somewhere. Whoa, incoming Bel Air of some description. Uh, through the mayhem we go here. There's a change for the... There's a battle for the lead actually going on. I don't want to be the outside here, really, if I can help it. No, 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 no! We're on the outside of the battle there that we didn't need to be a part of. Oh, we could have snuck a victory. We have snuck a victory. What's gone on? Oh, maybe they go too wide. Would explain maybe they fall so they push each other wide on that final corner and they miss they go too far out of the track. Hmm, I mean, look, I'm happy to take a victory, I'm always happy to take a victory in this one. I'm not sure that one was deserved, I don't feel like I earned that one particularly, <laughs> but I'll take it, I'll take it nevertheless. Okay, for our next race, we've come to the land. Lank, Lank, Lank Bane? Lank, Lanky Bane? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother. It's not worth it. I'll just mess it up. Uh, we're going to have a go with the Nexus. Uh, this kind of the track map looks a little bit like Spa. A bit of a shortened Spa, but never mind. Let's go see what we can do. The raid in here is very quick, from what I remember. Has been, as I said, has been a while, but B-Class oh, gone to here, and the raid in is filthy quick. But we are going to be stuck on the outside. No, 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 no. I don't want to be on the outside of a... Oh, it's all gone very badly wrong. Uh, well, the rating's gonna, gonna have to be fast here. Ooh, okay, I think there might be some alternate layouts around there, judging by the look of the track. Oh, that's a cool corner. 
Again, I mean, as far as circuits go, if you didn't tell me this was a mod, I don't think I'd ever know. I, I really don't think I would. There's some really fun corners with some nice elevation changes. It actually reminds me a little bit of hell as well. This section up here just reminds me of, of hell. I don't know. Yeah, this is. This is kind of like hell's final couple of corners, the Norwegian rallycross circuit. For those that might not uh, might not know. Okay, I like this. This might actually be inspired by Hell on the Mountain. Yeah, it is. <laughs> now I see it. Yeah, oh, that's really cool. And then, yeah, because this is the Joker lap. Oh, it is basically Hell. Oh, dear. It is Hell for that car there that I just murdered out of the map. Mm. Hello. Okay, so your cars can get really fired out of the map. Gee! There was a torpedo attempt and a half made right there. That was very nearly a just completed out, out and out murder from somebody. We're going to move up into a 7th position here uh, for our raiding. The leader is a long, long way gone. Can we do anything? Maybe inside through there. Oh, uh, well, they're going to fight me through this final corner. Uh, we oh, no. Don't put the raiding in the wall. Unnecessarily mean AI cars. And I can't really fight back because I'm in a little vehicle. Go on, we'll spin the Grand Duke around. Might lose another position, though, if we're not careful. Hit on the brakes for turn one. The wingman's out kind of wide. I think it's two wingmen is not an easy prospect to pass without a little bit. Well, that works for me, you know. Should go for a bump. And why do I do the bump and run, of course? Because these cars are much bigger and much heavier than I am. So if they've had enough of me, oh, then we're in trouble. We're going to have to cut back on the exit. Can't quite drive it like I do in Dirt Rally. Can't quite be almost backwards into that downhill hairpin. <laughs> it's not going to work. It's not going to work at all. That's almost in trouble. It's almost in trouble that way there. Is there, is there a gear in here that works? Maybe third would have been the way to go there. Hello! We're in sixth place. I mean, we haven't had the best of races. I feel like there's definitely more speed in the car. I probably do have the car that's fast enough to win. I've just been stuck in battles the entire time. A couple of silly errors and all of that sort of stuff. Yeah, this is an awesome little track. I mean, the Hell is a good fun so for one of my favourite rallycross circuits to drive. So... A version of that in Wreckfest is, yeah, pretty damn good. Oh, the very American wingman has met its end. The one that we are battling with, I think it was, you know. Sadly for me, as far as uh, finishing positions go, it does appear that we are all out of luck. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to make any more progress forward, barring anything weird. I mean, there's always that chance. Let's show you that the AI's race pretty well. I mean. Breakfast AIs are always an entertaining thing to drive against. There's a chance you can actually have some really close racing and then sometimes they all of a sudden just snap and do this kamikaze move that takes them out and just annoys you. Uh, so, yeah, they can be a little bit wacky to race against. Uh, this, I mean, that's, that's always going to be a thing. It's just the, the gaps, really, in the field that does it here. This is not a particularly crazy chaos-inducing circuit per se. And there's still huge, huge gaps between everyone. I mean, we're two seconds away from the cars ahead, two seconds uh, ahead of the car behind, you know, four seconds ahead of the car behind, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I feel like, yeah, I could maybe be a little bit closer around this sort of trail. We're going to spin her up ahead. I don't think that's for position, sadly, it isn't. Uh, we are not quite going to be close enough to catch Birdman for that fourth place. We'll have to settle for fifth in the end. However,. Very excited to see that uh, that track. We did get fastest lap of the race, at least. That's something. So, for the next race, we are still at the same circuit. This is a tarmac, a full tarmac version. Ooh, and I'm starting a long way back. I'm going for the sweeper, again, because I've driven it once, I think, and never really done much more with it. So, yeah, this is a tarmac. Oh, okay. I thought it, was, I thought it meant the entire server was tarmac. No, so this is, I guess, using just tarmac routes. Of, around the circuit. Oh, there's a little bit of dirt uh, there. You can't do too much about avoiding that. Uh, everyone's gone very wide there. Ah. Uh, oh, someone has rolled the truck. Those trucks are notorious for falling over. Excuse me, Bice. Please fall over again. Thank you. You did. Uh, right. Okay, so rather than... That's, oh, this is a fun little variation. Again, this has got a little bit more of a service road and everything, but... Uh, yeah, it keeps the essence of the circuit. Oh, just mixes it up a little bit. Uh, oh, no, come on. <laughs> I've not... There's a gear. Gear, 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 gear. There we go. I've not been getting much luck. At all, really, in dealing with the AI. 
But it's right press. It's how it goes sometimes. Uh, this is probably a slightly safer layout. You don't have that push wide at um, the exit of turn one. I mean, they can, uh, they can still get pushed a bit wide because there's a different concrete barrier. Never mind. Ignore that. Uh, we do have a lot of cars going, getting into trouble here. Uh, even me included there, trying to find a braking point. Oh, good teamwork. Very good teamwork with the little truck there. That will do nicely. Move me up to 17th spot. Can we get a top 10? I think that's doable. A podium, no chance. But a top 10? I think that's fairly reasonable, provided we don't make any silly mistakes. This car seems less keen to oversteer, which is always a good thing. It was keen to murder that thing. I'm sorry, but I just don't trust you in your big van. I just want you out of the way. Okay, a little unsporting, I am aware. However, uh, <laughs> we don't have long. The AIs have proven themselves to be mean buggers in all of this. Okay, well my top 10 is up ahead in that group, if we're going to be able to take it. Yeah, no silly mistakes. Don't slide the car around. Don't get oversteer. Don't understeer towards the wall either. That would be a good thing to avoid as well. There's a huge swabble of cars that are going to have a big crash at the final corner. Uh, hello. Can we... Oh, Vice has fallen over again. Nobody is surprised by said antics of the truck. I don't know if we're on the outside of turn one here. My goal, my plan is if we can cut back underneath on the exit. No, I didn't quite get my braking point right. I don't want to be around the outside because I don't trust them not to kind of run wide. Again, this corner here, I'm not going to go on the outside because we've seen how many cars are wandering wide and getting into trouble. We're up to 12th place now. We should be able to get the Dominator at some point around here. Not there, though. But my line through that corner isn't really working. There's a wrecked car on this kind of extra route. Yeah, I really need them to start fighting. I don't quite have the pace when I'm on my own to uh, be able to do all that much. Now, the Dominator, by the looks of it, is having a go at the Firefly. Come on, turn in, you bugger. It's just not, not got the grip. The Grand Duke is coming to join in. The AI might not be as patient or as kind as I am. Oh with their overtaking. Ah, oh, Janders has got stuck, so this is now the battle for 10th place here. You might just have to throw it and hope. I just get so much understeer through there. I can't get the car. I can't carry the speed! If I torpedo, we're just going to lose to the car behind. I've got to hope that one of them makes a mistake up here, which they do not. Uh, oh! Uh, there's a stuck car, but it isn't going to be enough. God damn it, there's another race where we come across the line. Right behind the cars that we wanted to be overtaking. God damn it. I just needed a chance into turn one. That was all we needed and we didn't get it. Bugger. That's a fun race. That's a fun layout actually. <laughs> that is that is a good a good little layout of the of the hell circuit. What better way to finish off checking out some new tracks than with a motorhome race? This has come to the short version. Why have you got modified motorhomes? Game, that's cheating. I expected to leave them all in the same category. Well, it might not matter too much. Uh, I've gone to the short version. At least that's what I clicked it as. I was expecting it to be a tiny layout. It actually isn't by the looks of it. So, <laughs> oops. Um, six laps may have been ambitious. No, don't put me in a wall. Please, please behave. Motorhomes are brilliant uh, because, well, they have some of the best damage of anything on here. They really do fall apart in truly spectacular fashion, which is, at the end of the day, what we like to see in some ways. But these tracks aren't crazy, wacky circuits. Um, okay, so the short layout is basically just what would be a normal lap at hell. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're fine. We're up into eighth place. That's how we're fine. No, don't you do it. Don't you crash into the back of me. The important thing with motorhome races is you've got to keep hold of your ladder for as long as possible. Don't ask, you just do it. It's just how it works. There is a massive shunt going on up ahead, and that's going to be a couple of vehicles well out of contention. Oh, I'm about to have... Oh, I was about to go out of contention as well there. No, Crispy. Why would you do such a thing? I mean, there's no... There's no... Okay, well, I can understand why you push there. If you fall over, you get an easy... Pass. I'm going to fight back. You don't get to push my vehicle around without me, you know, and get along. This is when, see, we do this, Caddy gets away. We fight over sixth, seventh place, sorry, and the vehicle's ahead. They will run away and we will lose out all of the position. I've got someone's ladder attached to me. If I have two ladders at the end of the race, do I double win? I believe that is how it works, yes. Third gear, no, okay, maybe not go on the curbs around that final corner. That would probably be a good idea. 
Uh-oh. Here comes that uh, AI vehicle. I've kind of covered the inside. There was a little gap it might have fired down, but it's been a really wonky line if it went for it. Okay, well, if you want to get past, you have to go around the outside here, which I don't think you're going to be able to. It's going to be defensive driving. Who knew we would have to do defensive maneuvers in Wreckfest? See, you can have properly good actual wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing uh, in this game, and the AIs even can engage in it. I often said Wreckfest is actually one of the best games for some really close racing because who's throwing a aircon like a vent at me? I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, yes, Wreckfest is actually good, really good for close wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing because. The game is built to deal with vehicles coming into contact with each other, which means little bumps and, and so on don't create massive problems in the physics engine and all that, because it's designed to deal with in, it's designed to deal with big bumps. Uh, so you can actually get very, very good wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing in in Wreckfest, which is what I do tend to like. So you can sometimes get it with the AI as well, uh, if they decide to play nicely like that. Uh, we've pulled a little bit of a gap. Can I catch this camper van ahead? I'm still hoping for a miracle, really. It's ambitious. Maybe, maybe rubbish, maybe hopeless, but, you know, sometimes we've just got to uh, hope for what we can. Am I going to be close enough? I mean, I'd torpedo if I thought it might work. It's possible that that, ah, uh, that curb, I still, I'm still doing exactly the same thing. It is insanity. I don't know why I keep turning in too soon through there. I'm thinking it's going to be fine, and I keep bouncing on the curbs and getting no drive off of the corner. Yeah, that was foolish. We were starting. I've got someone else's ladder. Yes, we actually have got a second ladder now attached to the side of our vehicle. We have two ladders. We are twice as good as... Oh, okay, now back to just being normal. Now back to just being a single, single ladder uh, outfit. Oh, okay, we're going to have to go for this pass. I suspect you're in a much higher class motorhome. Which means it's going to take some creative defending. Okay, Crispy. No, 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 no. We did creative defending. We got you a position. That means now you stay behind me. Okay, you stay behind me and you fight with that other one. And you let me run away in sixth place, please. I do not have the drive of these other ones. No! Stay back. Stay back! <laughs> that Joker's one must be seriously quick. Uh, I've got so much more straight line speed than me. It might be one of the A-class ones that's hanging around. Oh, no! We've lost our ladder. We are not good anymore. We have failed in our mission to keep hold of the ladder. It's still maximum defend. I mean, I haven't had to be too egregious yet. There's been a little bit of silly defending, but it's almost been acceptable. They're having a big old fight on their own back there. We're definitely going to have to... Oh! Well, I mean, that I didn't even really move on that one. I just got hit from behind. Uh, final corner... And we bubble the curve again, though not as bad as we have done. No! No! I just I didn't even have time to react to that. I couldn't even pull my vehicle across anymore if I wanted to, I don't think. You sneaky git. That's just too quick for me in the end. Oh, my roof's fallen off. That's what we needed. <laughs> okay, it was an A-class one. That makes sense, really. Eurofighter had a C-class one. Damn it, I was hoping it was going to be at least the highest C-class one. That's annoying. Dad, in a 45-7. They were quicker than me. Bugger. Uh, I was quicker than... Uh, mu Mukish, that was a 46-2 with an A-class one. Either way, that is a look at a couple of new tracks from the very track pack too. They are both absolutely fantastic. As I said, honestly, you could put these in the game and if you didn't know, you wouldn't have said that these were mods. They're fantastic tracks to drive around. Really, really good fun. I mean, this is a replica of Hell. Actually, a damn good replica. Uh, it, it's enough of a replica to be immediately familiar with Hell while not being just... A straight, straight carbon copy. Um, but yeah, it's good fun to race around. Good overtaking spots, fun track to drive. The other one is also fantastic. Maybe a little shorter a lap, but uh, yeah, both are really, really good, so I very much recommend you go and check this out. I shall look forward to seeing what other tracks may come in time with this, because yeah, these are absolutely fantastic. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.